What's up guys welcome back to yet another interesting video so in this video we'll be taking a look at android 13 for pixel 6a so pixel 6a was officially released in india last month and you all know pixel devices are known for its faster software updates so in this video let's take a look at what all features we get to see on android 13 and is it better than android 12 which is stable build present for pixel 6a so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we have our pixel 6a i've been running android 13 beta 4.1 on this device from almost three four days so here you can see device name is pixel 6a if you go to android version here it says android version is 13 which comes with first june 2022 security patch but still we get to see android 12 easter egg in the about section and guys before talking about the features let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 83 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel but they do watch our videos so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video and guys if you're willing to install you need to make sure that you have updated your latest version of android 12 on pixel 6a after that what you have to do is the official installation process is quite simple you don't have to download any files the system will automatically provide you an ota update in google chrome you need to open this particular website scroll down and you need to select your device so here you can see google pixel tap on get the beta you need to make sure that you are using the same mail id which you have signed in on your google device so soon you do that you will get an option where you can see right now it says opt out if you are doing it for the first time you will get the option of opt in so once you do that after that you just have to go to system update section and check for the OTA update and with no time you'll receive an Android 13 beta 4.1 update. I personally feel this is way better than Android 12 which I have used on my Pixel smartphone. The animations are way better, scrolling seems to be also great on Android 13 beta 4.1 and I also felt Haptic is improved a lot on Android 13 compared to Android 12. Though it's still in beta phase but for sure you'll feel a difference in the Haptic feedback on your Pixel 6a. And guys, I won't recommend you to flash it on your daily driver. Though it's a final beta build based on Android 13, I guess, I'm not sure about it. They might release another build or they may directly come up with Android 13 stable build. But it completely depends on you. If you want to install, you can install it. There are some minor glitches which I'll show you guys at the end of video. Now let's start with some of the new features. What are you guys gonna see on Android 13. So first talking about the home screen. So here we don't get to see much of changes in the home screen. Though here if you take a look at the wallpaper colors, we do get more color options in both the sections, basic colors and wallpaper based colors. On 12, I guess we have some limited four to eight colors, but here we do get to see additional colors on Android 13. And depending on your taste, you can choose any of these. Themed icon is still in the beta phase. We get to see a lot of changes in the lock screen. So here you can see this is how your notification appears. If you have more notification, you get a small pill towards the left side. And if you tap on it, this will expand all the notifications, which according to me is a nice add on. And guys, there are a lot of changes done in the animation compared to Android 12. You'll have a noticeable change in the animation of unlocking using fingerprint unlock and other animations are also way better now. The dial pad on the emergency section is now similar to the Google stock dialer. Notification panel, we don't get to see much of changes. If you check the media player in the notification panel, so here you will notice a lot of difference. First of all, one difference would be like if the song is being played, here you can see the progress bar, which now have these waves up to where song is completed. And also on the previous builds, media player doesn't use to adopt the thumbnail color. But now here you can see we have brown thumbnail on this song and almost everything have adapted to the same color. Slight difference can be seen, but here if you tap on this phone, here also little bit of colors are seen from the thumbnail. And now if I change the song, here you can see again all these things like play, pause, app icon adapts to the thumbnail color. And another interesting thing, what you guys will find it in the notification, like if you have any app running in the background, here it will show you in the notification panel, one app is active. So all the active apps will be listed here. If you want to stop them directly from here, you can just tap on stop and that app will be cleared. On the previous builds of Android, 13 google had disabled this universal search feature in the app drive but now they are back with it so here if you want to search anything this will search the apps also along with that it will also provide you the option to search on internet so for example let's search our website so i'll type techieb so here you can see we do have the options of internet search and from device also 
and this feature lacks on most of the smartphones. Previously OnePlus had this feature called Scout feature but later they removed and added into OnePlus shelf which is quite weird. There are a lot of things which you can do it right away from the recent panel itself. For example, if you have any URL present on the recent tab, then you get an option to copy that URL directly and you can also share it with your friends. Other than that, we also have some more options. For example, if you copy text from here, so I'll copy this permission and if I tap on copy and directly this will open their copied text into a note from where you can edit that stuff and share it with whomever you want or you can save it on your device and you can also copy the images directly from the recent panel so here you can see this was a thumbnail of a video on YouTube and I have an option to copy it without having to do additional steps if you talk about the split screen there are some minor UI changes not major one so let's open up split screen here so this is how split screen looks and if you scroll down towards the bottom side the top application we only get to see the app icon and if the same way I scroll it up the bottom application just shows the icon instead of the entire UI of that application bit weird but this is what it is and in future this thing might get changed and they have also done some changes with the fingerprint registration UI so here you can see this gives us a better idea on how to register the fingers on Android 12 I guess we still have that same UI wherein we don't get to see this preview and one of the best feature which I like on Android 13 which doesn't support all the applications but yes few applications are being supported so for example if you long press on the application we do get an option to select different language for different applications so here you can see if you go to app info I selected YouTube it doesn't work with all the applications right now but in future we'll get the support of it where you get the option to select system default language you can also select other languages if you want to quite a handy feature and I seriously feel other brands should also add this feature so here you can see Chrome also supports the same thing but if we talk about other application for example messaging app if I go to app info and here we don't have the support of multiple language as said this is not supported by all the applications but yes in future almost all the Google stock applications will start supporting it and now let's talk about some of the minor issues what I have noticed on Android 13 so one of them is this ability to change wallpapers so here it takes bit extra time to change the wallpaper I don't know why this should have been quite faster on pixel smartphones but yes it do takes bit extra time to apply the wallpapers from this section and also if you go to wallpaper and style section in the preview the color of the clock is completely different than what we get to see on lock screen so here I feel this is a bug and in future this thing might get sorted out and another minor issue which I noticed was I'm not sure it's an issue but I did feel that the charging speed wasn't that good on this Android 13 build which is beta 4.1 and Google Play services app have always been creating issues when it comes to battery segment. So guys, these were all the features and some of the minor bugs which I have faced on my Pixel 6 after installing Android 13. And I strongly recommend people to try out Android 13 on their Pixel smartphones. You get better animations, better scrolling effects, along with better haptic feedback. So guys, this was all about Android 13 Beta 4.1 for Pixel 6a. If you guys want a detailed review on this, then do let me know in the comment section below. Wherein, as always, will include everything like battery backup, camera performance, gaming performance and stability part. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys want a complete review on Android 13. As of now only this much in this video guys. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.